Very excited. Yeah, very excited. You're ready to go pumps? Oh, yeah, I think we're ready. Uh, I think we're certainly ready. Joining the SpaceX Demo 2 test. He is a Marine Corps colonel and test pilot. He was selected as an astronaut in 2000. He piloted Space Shuttle Endeavor and Atlantis for STS-135, the final space shuttle mission. Introducing NASA astronaut Doug Hurley. It's a life-changing process in so many ways to fly into space. It's just overwhelming in some, some respects. Just the sensations, the rumbling, the shaking, the acceleration. When the engine shut off and you go from, in the case of the shuttle, you go from three Gs to zero Gs instantaneously and things start floating. And I remember distinctly just thinking what just happened. To see a rocket launch in person is, uh, it's a pretty emotional event. I remember the first time I saw a shuttle launch and it's just, it was amazing. And then when I saw a shuttle launch with my wife on it, that is, that is quite the emotional experience. My name is Doug Hurley and I'm the spacecraft commander for the Demo-2 mission to the International Space Station. We are doing the first crewed flight for NASA and for SpaceX. So this is the test flight to prove end-to-end -end from launch to docking to ISS operations and then entry, descent, and landing. This will be the first time the Dragon had a crew on board. And so there's a, a, a myriad of objectives we want to achieve for this mission. SpaceX has been responsible for design and and, and essentially making this vehicle what it is. What the astronauts bring to the table is the crew vehicle interface. What would work on orbit, what might not work on orbit, what would definitely work to be able to just have the entire integrated uh, team that's gonna support us getting to and from space station, talking together, working through the challenges that simulators typically uh, throw at you. It was really neat being part of it. It's just been an incredible undertaking to see where we've come just in the last five years that, that Bob and I have been a part of this and to be you know, shortly uh, flying to the International Space Station with the Crew Dragon. It overwhelms you to think about how many people have in some way, shape or form touched this program and this, and this vehicle to get us to this point. And you know, we are the lucky ones that get to fly it but we certainly not for one second take for granted the amount of effort that so many other people had to put into this to make it successful. For Doug personally, he's, he's worked so hard, I mean, through his entire life um, to get to where we are right now. As a test pilot, this would be the dream to fly a new vehicle. So it makes me so happy to see that he gets to be part of this mission the spacecraft commander. I'm just glad to see his hard work and his dream has come true for that. It's been a long road in a lot of ways for not only us, but certainly for all the folks that work in the commercial crew program, as well as SpaceX in our case, just working to get to this point. It's been a huge amount of sacrifice and, and time away from home, but the fruits of our labor are, are coming to uh, fruition.